Okay, are we ready for the no makeup makeup? I'm going to a Mets game, okay? I, you know, a girl from Queens, so I grew up, my whole family was big into the Mets. I'm going, and what do you wear? You want to do makeup, but you don't want to look like here comes makeup for like a bowl game, right? Look like a nut. So this is what I'm going to do. The no makeup makeup vibe. I want to look good, but not like over the top. So SPF is important. So I'm doing a primer, the Charlotte Tilbury primer that has an SPF in it. Two birds, one stone. Let's move. Ooh, she's glowy. This is 46, filter-free, all right, she's glowy. Now, it's not mineral, it is um, more of a sunscreen. I typically opt for mineral, but I did want a glow show, and it's a SPF 50 with a primer. So I'll make an exception. When I want a makeup that's not gonna fail me, I do grab the House Labs, and that's why I wanted just a primer with an SPF, because House Labs is shade 220. Um, I think it's the same shade that Lady Gaga wears. All right, just saying. But I know that it will stay and not look overly done and not look not done. So House Labs, it's like a nice medium coverage. My favorite go-to outdoor concealer is the Dior Backstage. You guys know I speak about this a lot because it is a medium coverage. It's not insane, but it just does increase. I use shade 3C, and this is like my look of like, I know it's gonna be okay. Like nothing crazy is gonna happen to my face. I'm not experimenting with new products right now. These are like the tried and true, okay? This I'll use a little brush to pat in to make sure there's like no excess because if you have too much concealer on, that's when you'll also get creasing because your skin kind of like, warms up and pushes out the excess concealer so if you have a brick concealer on you notice a few minutes later it looks really creasy you just had too much on so you gotta buff it out happy soul never lets me down rare beauty this is my go-to easy to blend enough detail that it stays but not too much that i look like i'm going to a broadway theatrical production of cats <laughs> Get your cheekbone, get your cheekbone. I don't know why that makes, I always say that when I'm doing my cheekbone, it just happens. But look at that. So it looks like nice, lifted, shaped, but didn't try so hard. All right, that's the vibe we're going for. And then the sides of the nose, just to slim the bridge. And also if you're bronzing the face and you put nothing on the nose, it just looks, just looks weird. Easy lip and cheek, whispering peach, epic lights, all natural skincare formula. It's got some avocado and hyaluronic acid. And I'm buffing a little bit on the eyes too for nice, natural didn't try that hard situation over that i'm dusting a little bit of charlotte tilbury rose gold for a little luminous pop happening little l'oreal brow pencil i'm just going to squiggle through i like a nice thin tip um squiggling through to give a little bit of a, a little more shape i'm doing it like little hair strokes just kind of make the brow look fuller and fill in any little holes go even though my brows are dark i'll opt for like an ash brown or a soft brown so i don't look like an angry psycho a waterproof eyeliner i just can't help the way that l'oreal telescopic lift then set and spray 